I should have started filming this before I started cutting, but <clears throat> I want to put three batteries where they had a, a spot for one or two. So some Cletus welded these um, weight distribution hitches on. I've already begun cutting one off. And what I'm going to do is break up a pan and some type of a lid to store three batteries. Okay, I've got the completely unnecessary uh, bracketry for the weight distribution hitch cut off. I don't need that bullshit. I've got a one ton pickup. And now I have the three batteries I'm going to use uh, kind of down in the tongue. So now I need to measure a pan, if you will, that will uh, accompany those. So we need a pan that is, whoops, 20 inches or so long. I'll probably make it longer by... Ten inches and I'll make it a little bigger than it needs to be I'll mount that pan on the existing one inch angle that's just surface rust there I'm gonna clean that up there's that's one inch by eighth inch angle and it's already welded in pretty solidly to the frame so there's no reason not to use it so let's make up a pan with the battery okay so I've <clears throat> taken a piece of 16 gauge broken it a little over 10 inches wide. I also put these stiff edges on there, give it a little rigidity, and then instead of welding it, I'm just going to simply bolt it down. So let's see how it fits. So, see there I've got a little separation. I didn't want it to be too tight, so I laid it out to break it 10 and a quarter inches wide. Boom, all my batteries fit in there nicely. I'll be able to strap them down and uh, I'll make some type of a lid. So I've got the batteries mounted um, in the pan. I'm, I'm not gonna build a cover for it. Instead, I'm gonna build a frame so I can mount my generator right above it. So for the time being, I stopped at, I had to go to several different places. These are one gauge cables and these are four gauge cables which are fine. Um, nobody had four of anything, so I had to get two pairs because the going into the trailer is a six gauge cable. So the cables that I put on there are obviously um, beefier. And <clears throat> we've wired them um, parallel so that everything's 12 volt. And we have a reading of 13.1 volts. So that should say full. So, let's pause, and through the power of the pause button, I'm now magically inside, and our battery should register as full. So, with not too terribly much effort and some free batteries, I have tripled my storage capacity.